Hey, welcome back to the 5050 showcase. My display of 50 different level 50 characters from the City of Heroes homecoming servers, specifically Excelsior. I will be going through 50 different characters I have curated for you, a whole bunch of different archetypes and builds. Uh, this is number 14, Callisto. She is an electric control, time manipulation, Moo or Mew Mastery controller. She's the fourth controller on my list. I'm going to go through her build with you, uh, let you know what the theme and the idea and the concept was behind her. Uh, and then, of course, showcase her in some solo missions as well as some team play. Uh, so let's get down to business. Let's take a look at the mids build. Here we go. This is Callisto. She. Let's scoot this up for you so you can see it. All right, so for electricity control, you can see I've taken every power with the exception of the chain confuse synaptic overload. Not that that's a bad power. I just couldn't fit it with everything else I'm doing here. Uh, and then with time manipulation, you can see I've taken all the powers in that set right there. Uh, she is designed theme-wise as an energy electricity draining, you know, endurance draining tank controller. Uh, she's going to be getting up into melee range. Uh, using her controls and uh, drain powers in order to uh, fix the enemy in place, uh, lock them onto her, take them out of the out of the uh, out of the fight while either her pets or she or her teammates el eliminates the threat. Uh, if you take a look at the powers that we've uh, chosen, uh, one thing cool with electricity control is that it has some endurance strain pretty much with everything, but conductive aura. Uh, your PBAOE aura, that is your main energy endurance draining power. You just stand next to targets and you start sapping them. Uh, the other great power that goes along with that is the static field, the patch sleep power. It's the only one of its nature in the game, as far as I recall, where you can drop a sleep patch uh, at range and anybody who walks into it uh, is going to fall asleep, lose endurance. And between those two powers... Uh, that in and of itself is enough to pretty much drain any target of its endurance. Uh, and that's really the name of, of her game. And you can see that with the Incarnate, I took the Preemptive Radial Flawless, and that is a minus endurance uh, proc over time as well. So at level 50, uh, she can just end drain anything that she gets next to. Plus, I've got Power Sync which is another beautiful little endurance drain. So she's going to hover into uh, melee range with a sleep patch down and just start sucking everybody's stamina out of their body while constantly jolting, chaining them, chain fencing, ball lightning. The gremlins will be shocking them. Uh, it's going to be devastating for the enemy. That's pretty much the way her controls work. And she's very tanky. Uh, she can stand within melee range she's got pretty high defenses as you can see here in the low 20s and then smash lethal energy resistances are near to cap levels uh, she's got stealth so that you can't you know see her swooping in uh hover's going to keep uh, her protected from a lot of just knockback that sort of thing got the fighting pool going uh, and you got your charged armor here in move mastery as well just to kind of round out the defenses so similar to many of the other builds I've shown you, she has this layered um, defensive damage mini um, mitigation strategy between some defense, uh, some damage resistance, her controls. Uh, doesn't have much in the way of debuff, but the controls are, you know, with distortion field and jolting chain. Uh, those alone, Distortion Field is another great little uh, patch power you can drop out there. It has this chance for hold, minus recharge, minus speed. So that's a great little power. Uh, jolting Chain, knocking things down. Times Juncture is, an, is a debuff. It's another one of these PBAOE powers. Uh, so between that and your Conductive Aura uh, with the two patches, Distortion Field and Static Field, you can get right into melee and be pretty darn safe. Uh, from any attacks that are going to come your way. You also have the ability to heal yourself just in case, you know, things don't go well. You got, uh, what is it, Temporal Mending. It's a little uh, PBAOE um, 
heal over time power. It's not the greatest in the game, but it's pretty solid. Uh, then you've got some single target buff with, what is it, temporal selection. You can put that on your pets or your teammates. Uh, you've got Farsight, which is a nice to hit and defense uh, AoE buff that, it, you know, it's PB AoE. You click it, it pulses out, and a bunch of your allies and your pets are going to get uh, that benefit. Chrono Shift, similar to that. It's another PB AoE click. Recharge, healing, endurance, healing over time, recovery. So a lot of buffing, boosting uh, there. Then you got another extra little uh, hold here, single target hold with time stop that helps to you know synergize with your other hold tesla cage from your control power plus like i said you've got the distortion field that has a chance to uh hold as well you've got your other hold is going to be where is it synaptic uh not synaptic overload paralyzing blast that is the other one that's your aoe holds you got multiple ways to hold uh, you've got multiple ways to sleep multiple ways to drain sorry not to sleep but to drain uh, I think, did I put any holds in any of the, yeah, I got the chance to hold here in Jolting Chain, so that's a nice little little extra boost there, because it does uh, periodically multi-jump. I've seen multiple targets get held before by that. Uh, I got some damage procs sitting here in Static Field with the Impeded Swiftness and Distortion Field, so I can get a little extra damage out of that. Uh, times Juncture, I actually put a Recovery Debuff, the Deflated Ego uh, proc in that one. So that's also going to help keep things drained. Because one thing about Endurance Training and Sapping in the game is it's pretty easy to sap, but to keep a target without any Endurance requires uh, some sort of Recovery Debuff that you can constantly apply. So something like Times Juncture, the Deflated Ego, that's going to help with that. Uh, the interface that I've chosen, Conductive Aura, it doesn't have a recovery debuff, but it's going to constantly be draining. Uh, I don't think anything else has an actual recovery debuff in it. Maybe your Jolting Chain? Let me just double check that. No, I don't think anything actually has a recovery debuff other than the proc chance here in preemptive uh, radial flawless that i'm taking so got to keep things drained you're going to have to rely upon the luck of some procs there all right so that is the overall build draining tank trolling and then just delivering pain to anybody who gets close to her uh, i've tanked very well with this character before and had you know times uh four or sorry times eight plus four teams of you know low b players with me and people are survived just fine with her abilities to buff and heal and just control all right i'm gonna go ahead and pause a bit and get the solo missions fired up i'll be right back all right i'm back here is callisto she is an electric control i think she was my first controller i ever made actually here on homecoming and i never used to play them live uh and she's actually really fun you know i built her to tank troll to be able to essentially bring a team uh you know behind her and just get out there and, and keep things locked down i mean to me controllers are as effective as tanks in a lot of situations in order to just control aggro and manage things as long as they're allowed to do it you know if you don't got a bunch of hot dog players just charging out there and getting themselves killed uh, if we let Callisto get in there and do her thing for a few seconds, it's it'll be safe as, you know, walking up your driveway. All right, so let me go ahead and get her pets out, the gremlins. So if you don't know anything about electric control, you get two little gremlin pets. Uh, and they have the jolting chain power plus a brawl punch. I am set to plus two times six, running a council mission paper mission here we are going to defeat archon alberto and his guards so we all got that uh what else did i want to say oh and then i forgot to mention this in the build but she has the melee um hybrid in order to help keep her safe while she is in melee range to tank so she's that gives her a defense and regen boost for every enemy that's near her plus some status protection because uh, that's the one downfall of you know any squishy type of build is you need to have mez protection so i also have clarion for that 
and it has boost for special. So the controls get boosted, range gets boosted, status protection there. You got ionic, so there's a nice you know nuke that is going to also help, I think, drain energy, I think, when it hits. And then I've taken the IDF uh, improved allies, so I have the little drone that's going to give me the little bubble shield. Let me summon my little pet. There we go. All right, I've got conductive aura on. That's the end drain. I've got times juncture on. That's your to hit minus damage minus speed as well. Charged armor tough are my two defensive toggles. I got hover and stealth. Or sorry, those are damage resistance toggles. Hover and stealth are defense toggles. All right, so I've got temporal selection. I can put that on to one of the little gremlins here. Click far sight to give us all a little boost of defense and such. Chrono shift. Bang. Click your temporal mending to get some heals going. Let's see, what do we want to hit these guys with first? I'll hit them with the AOE hold. Why not? Man, that's some serious aggro already. How that guy got aggroed way back there. Let's get this boss. So you're not going to really see much end draining, I think, at this level. Just because most of the targets will die before I really get them drained down. These guys are... I jolt them. So far, my shield pet is good. That's always a good sign of a controlling character. Keep your little wisp pet alive. All right, let's lay out the sleep field. Night, night for them. Put out the slow patch. In goes the gremlins. Stupid. So I don't actually have knock back protection, but hover is decent, but you still have to do that flip in the air, which takes you out of your attack stance for a couple seconds. Where's that guy running? Love jolting chain. It's a nice little control, but it's also an attack power. So the thing with this uh, build, it's kind of one of these slow, just draining, whittling down the enemy. Yeah, so Jolting Chain has the hold proc in it. Let's see if it actually fires. Okay, buff up. Get into melee this time. It's best for this character just to get up in there. So then I can start doing the draining and the painting. Right, look at all these guys I've got to sort of lock down. Just sitting there sleeping. Out of endurance. They don't know what's going on. So yeah, definitely it's best to just get in there. Maybe eat a luck and dive in. There we 
and so you can see the proc from the chain there. Let's get buffed up. All right, get in there. There we go, proc to hold. Hold stack pretty well. Now it's just a matter of whittling these things down. And you have to have confidence that your pets are taking care of business behind you. Which they usually do. Yep, everything back there is dead. Well, had a runner, it looks like. This is the slow, draining death. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to win any speed awards. Let me check if I have a... Yeah, I didn't put a damage proc into my... I mean, you could get more damage out of this just by some procs. I went primarily with resistance damage resistance because you know that's what i was building for survivability not damage let's take a peek nothing's around the corner all right let's buff up again how do i look like i'm missing a pet oh wait there he is Let's see, let's do the sleep is usually how I open, followed by the static jolting, sorry, jolting chain. Let me get into melee. I mean, if you survive the initial alpha, you're good to go. Because within just a few seconds, everything's just drained. The gremlins did a little bit more damage. Now, this is a level 53 boss. Imagine if this was a 54, like a werewolf, has a lot more hit points. Take even longer. But it's a safe build. Turn on melee again. So I'll lead with jolting chain this time. See if that makes a difference. Ah, so tired of that knockback.
like my grandma's just standing there watching me instead of beating on this thing. Slow and steady. Drop a static field there. There we go. Let's go down the hall here and take these guys out. Yeah, I think just popping a luck once each fight is best bet. Kind of top you off a little bit more. Let's see, these guys are spread out a little bit. Let's do this. That AoE hold is pretty big. It's a boss right there. That's who was shooting my pets. Slow drain and pain. Here it comes. Like I got what a dozen guys just sitting here flopping, sleeping, out of endurance. Really unable to do anything to me. You also have some decent minus uh, speed recharge that you can put together with uh, what is a slowed response and um, just a distortion feel, I think. See, times juncture slows things down. I think it was your oh, static field does too. Anyway, let me double check static field. Yeah, so static field you can slot for slows. Distortion field. Times juncture. So you've got some decent slows that you can put together. So I could see kind of using time and electric as a uh, a slow theme to build too if you were to take maybe Psy as your mastery to get the minus recharge maybe I don't know I haven't thought about it Let's try to Pull some stuff up here too. This might be a bad idea. But we'll see. Get stuff bunched up so I don't have to go in there. Perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want them all bunched up. Helps your hybrid melee. Plus all your PBOE auras and patches. Toggles. Oh, don't go that far, bro. Oh, no. What are you guys doing? Alright. Alright. 
check that out. Thought that was going to go south, but actually not too shabby. I don't think controllers get an ice epic set. Which is too bad, because I could see that being nice. If you wanted to go with the slows. I'll have to check that on mids, but I don't think they get ice available. Get ice storm, throw that in there. So I really like this uh, character. I like this build, but man, she is slow killing stuff. Not even sure I'm going to run the next uh, plus threes there. So it'll probably take an extra 15 minutes just because of that. Now, nah, screw you, Alberto. Come on. Get him. Somebody left? Probably over here. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, if you're looking for a solo, you know, killer, then you this is not your build, you know. You're going to have to milk some damage other ways with some procs or something. There we go. But it was relatively safe. And once I kind of shook off the rust, it's not a big deal. All right, I'm going to pause this and fire up the next uh, mission. I'm going to up the team size to times eight. And the level to plus three, so I'll be soloing plus three mobs times eight. Be right back. All right, we're back. We've got plus three times eight. We're going to recover the Neural Scrambler from the Council, another paper mission in Granville. This is the second solo test showcase. I'm going to go ahead and actually activate my IDF that's as well, just get some more damage. So make this a little bit hopefully faster. Turn them onto aggressive. Alright, activate this. Juice up the ranger. Some patches in that opening there. I feel like somebody's shooting me from behind there. Let me chuck my ionic in there. Warwolf can't do anything about it. There we go. Is everybody down? Oh, still got a vampire in here. the uh, patches you can always do the old corner drop like that relatively safe 
throw some debuff in here. Oh, I haven't even used my power sink yet. Forgot I had it. These are 54, so let me just nuke them. I'm not sold on these IDFs. This guy over here. There's the hold proc on him. Yeah, probably within, I mean, these guys are getting, what, completely drained within 10 seconds. As long as I stay near them, they will not be able to do much because they're going to be slowed and out of endurance. These guys are 54s. All right, let's get our buffs going. I'm going to use the... Or drop again. Throw this out there. Ouch. See, it's like that alpha. You get you can get pretty much one shot if you're not careful. I didn't take any preemptive lux on that one. Don't need any of these blues. I took the IDFs uh, to get the drone to get some more, um, I think it's just a little bubble on you, get some more defense. I don't know what the uh, tier 4 is boss guy's like. I think he's the uh, one with the uh, rocket pack. Yeah, these... Um, Gremlins need like another attack or something. I think they only got two. Maybe give them like a little static field or something. This Warwolf is paralyzed, he can't do anything. But still. Not getting much damage out of your pet. It's nice to have the extra control with the uh, Jolt and Chain, but maybe give that a little more damage. Right, 53s here. Let's do this. Here we hold. Throw the Jolt and Chain in there. I don't know, I feel like this AoE hold on electric is probably one of the best ones. Just feels like it's got a good radius. One problem with power sink is uh, it's hard to sort of got to get close. And when you're up in the air, I swear I miss a lot just because I'm too high.
a lot of times with this character, I'll just sit in the pack and target stuff outside because I know the things next to me are going to be drained and uh, helpless. This guy, what's he even doing? He's standing there. Look at this guy. This boss is still back there. Yeah, these single target controls do crap for damage. There we go. Dead. Do the AoE hold again. Get into melee. Drop the patches. Start the drain. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty much drained at this point. You can see I can just sit here and stand next to these 54s for minutes while I slowly drain and kill them. And then you can't do crap about it. It's just, you know, tedious. But I think she'll... You know, I've said this before about my controllers. Like on a team, it's a different story. Not that I'm going to kill faster, but just like if you have a team of like lower level sidekicks, whatever you bring with you, it's a very safe. If you have a couple of blasters that can unload some damage, you're this is fine. So you can sit here and tank while they spank. The glowy. All right, there's the Archon fifty three. They buff up. Let's just Throw this in there first, why not? I do like electric because you really have three, four options with this build, what you want to open with. You know, sleep, AoE hold, jolt and chain. You can drop stuff around the corner, including your, um, was it distortion field patch? Uh, if you happen to have the Confuse, you can throw that first. Don't chase him over there, please. Oak 
focus on this werewolf so it'll stop running. Look how slow that guy's moving. He's not going anywhere. So that's the other uh, thing that you can get tanky with this is that people can't just run away from you unless they're one of those werewolves that are like immune to slows. Let's see how to do. That should work. Oops, that's gonna be bad. Let's see what happens. Must be a good test. Here we go. Two groups. Wish I had a targeted uh, heal, though. I really don't want to move away from my position here. Hope you finish that guy over there soon because I could use your body closer here. Oh, he's got an Archon over there, that's why. Let me see if I can finish some of these guys. Finish the Aircon? Yay. Nice, nice. Get him. There's still another guy over here. There we go, kids. All right. It was slow. But it was steady, and even there, I just aggroed a second group. There was like, what, two dozen mobs there? Both sides, too, and not a pet dropped. So, very tanky. Lots of controls. Lots of survivability. Alright, I'm going to try to get a little team going, or get on a team, and then run two or three missions like that. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. All right, found me a team, I, and this time I'm not running it, so I guess I can't get mad if uh, people start you know, doing stupid crap. Um, but we do have a whole bunch of incarnates, so again, it's probably going to be a joke. Uh, like a couple of my last controller outings, but we'll see. And as long as people at least play as a team, that's all I'm, you know, I want to do. But if you get a couple showboat hot dogs, just charge up and kill everything while you're buffing or whatever it's it's just stupid so give our tank some damage at recharge right I mean, 
Level 54 longbow are no joke. At least we got a tank. I don't have to tank. So I really don't want to run into a bunch of longbow with this guy. Save my patch control here. I don't know what the dominator. I think he might be ice. Alright, oh, he's gonna start pulling shit. All right, people are scattering every which way. That I don't like. One thing I like with this controller is I can just jump into a group to defend, you know, or protect them anyway. Pretty freaking chaotic. The scrappers are taking freaking a beating. Don't really have much to give them <laughs> if they're going to run ahead of me. I blame the Dominator for that. No one to blame except yourself. And he ate that one. Alright, well, I'm not going to sit back here and play with that guy unless... We least got the uh, MM pets here. Alright. Of course, the MM's without his pets. Oh, it's skin flaps. Let's try and get a lockdown on him quick. I didn't realize we had a hero. semi exciting powerful team but you know longbow at 54 plus a 54 hero actually was i don't want to say challenge but it was not a 
pushover either. And the team actually kind of stuck together, which is unusual, right? For some pugs these days. Most people are just freaking flashing their EP and how awesome they are. Charging around, killing everything. By the way, hover plus steam jet equals fly. Or steam pack. Just gotta keep jumping. Some of these new Crayer ass kickers. I had caught some aggro. This dominator's got perma or not. Start throwing her the uh, recharge buff there. Temporal selection. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen domination flash at all. Which is always sad if a dominator is not using her domination. Brings a tear to the eye. Bad. My pets is down. Can't see what the hell's happening. Storm cloud. Minx. That's what the hell's going on. Little kitten. All right, that's two. I'll be right back for the next one. All right, so it looks like we're running actual story arc. Let's see, who is that? Ah, Tavish Bell's arc, okay. So yeah, there's heroes in this one. We've so far taken on Minx and Synapse there.
I think we have to take Synapse again. Oh, Manx, there we go. So this is some good challenges, right? You're taking on 54s, you got some heroes. Longbow, like I said, they're usually pretty tough. Some sleep in there. So time seal is really just a top off heal. So you're not gonna save anybody's life with it. But after fight you can get people recharged. It's almost like farming. he is. How the hell do you get over there? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to be taken out as 54 boss. Spiner. up again guys it's not the cheese this guy with the 
Nem staff and the black staff. Hey, get him. All right, I'll be here another couple minutes. Hopefully nobody dies while I'm finishing this boss off. There we go. Let's see, where do they go? Oh, they're way up there. Yeah, I could have just ditched that guy, but I didn't want him chasing us down later. I thought the other group was coming back. Getting up again, guys. Alright, well, I'm not gonna sit here again. You guys can let them chase you. the sound of what's behind me. Yeah, see, look, I told you, a spiner, you guys should have freaking dealt with him. I'm going to try to hold these two guys in place. Yeah, Spiner bosses, Longbow, they get up. Oh, knocking futs. Oh, shit. Makes again. I don't know where that corruptor is. She goes. Got her. Where's that guy fighting?
All right, exiting that crap. All right, I think that's good, right? I mean, got the show. Some level 54 team play. I actually got to contribute, unlike the last couple outings where I had a bunch of people just showboat and solo in the missions. These missions are actually pretty tough. Ah, oh, fuck. They gotta... Oops, TT. TT. I guess I could have made it anyway. But anyway, um, so there you go. You can tank. You can control. You use a lot of endurance drain. You got some buffs. You got some heals. So you can see I was able to help keep some people alive. You're not going to do any single target saving lives out there. But you can keep the group alive. And you can basically off tank if needed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video there. All the way. Eh, maybe I'll record this one just because it's synapse again. So why not? This looks like a quick one. Do one more. Dude, I got minus 135%. Oh, Jack Frost, you're going to aggro. and grab in there somewhere. Hey guys, the spiner's gonna res again, so... Let them kill you this time. Well, they're going to do it anyway. All right, well. Oh, shit, I'm not doing so hot myself here. There's the spiner. All right, let's get my other pets out. Oh, shit. Oh, he went... Why was he unaffected? What the hell just happened? Is there a AV up there? Oh yeah, it's fucking Minx. We got taken from all sides right now. It's warden down. Shit, all my pets are freaking murdered. Guy's got no health, no energy. Frick else is over here. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Kitty Cat Minx was up top there. I just saw a bunch of people start dying. My pets got slaughtered. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, there he is. Ah, crap. All right, forget it. I think they got it that he's there. He's trying to type the word hero. There's Dami. Running like a bee. There we go. Synapse twice, Minx twice. All right, now I'm going to cut the video. I think that was worth it, though. All right, hopefully that was uh, a good showcase. Electric control, time manipulation, view mastery. Try it if you want to have a tank troller and draining sapper.